this is the phone you have all been waiting for. I don't need to say more. This is the iPhone 6. So, what is different? I'm sure you have seen hundreds and thousands of videos online. Uh, unboxing the iPhone 6, bending the iPhone 6, taking the iPhone 6 apart, putting it in a mixie, everything. We are just going to go straight to the point and tell you the three best things about this phone. And the first thing is right here, it's the design. This is the best looking iPhone ever and it's the slimmest iPhone ever. It's also the lightest iPhone ever. So that is point number one. The other really new thing about the phone is the camera. The camera is the same in a way, but it's been it's been bumped up like never before. It's it is it is pretty much the best smartphone camera around. And you can see how we have shot amazing professional quality slow motion video, time lapse videos, night shots, everything with this phone. And it is the fastest camera you'll ever find. Because even without a burst mode, you are literally using the camera like it's on burst mode. Every, every click goes to a shot. There is no lag at all. And that also shows you that this phone has a perfect processor. See, at a time when everybody's talking about quad core and octa core and stuff like that, Apple does not bother about, the, about these figures. What Apple does is that it syncs its hardware to its software perfectly. So, you have no lag at all on this phone and that is why the 8, profes uh, the 8 processor of the phone comes up with perfect speeds for the camera. For a phone that costs 53,500 minimum, you would expect the display to be Full HD, Quad HD, 4K in these days. But Apple is giving you a 722p uh, you know, HD display and you will have no reason to complain. You know, for one, the design is such that the display blends into the, dis into the phone. There are no sharp edges, nothing anywhere. It's, it's a perfect blend of, um, of the glass going into the body of the device. Also, you use this in bright sunlight, you use this at, at night, at, at low brightness, you won't have any reason to complain about the display. So these are the three things that I really like about this phone. I also have two negatives for this phone. First, I found that this phone heats up at times, especially when you're browsing or when you're trying to uh, you know, copy something from this phone to another device, either, either using a USB or, or using AirDrop. That for a phone this expensive is a bit of a negative for me. The other negative for me is the iOS 8 iOS 8 is really new, it has lots of new features, but I think they should have done more with the operating system. They could have added lots of great features to this operating system and Android tells you what kind of customizations you can add to a phone and I think people these days want those features in your phone. Uh, Apple, has, Apple has added some customization, but it could have done much, much more. So the iOS 8 is not really all that exciting. For If you want to really spend on a smartphone and you want to buy a flagship, the iPhone 6 is among your best options. I would say it is among your top three options. But that is where one thing has changed. You know, earlier I would say Apple is the best option, but now you have multiple options in that flagship category. You have options like the Note 4, you also have the Z3. So Android is catching up and Apple is under a bit of pressure, but still this is an amazing phone.